So when is it okay to call yourself a service designer? And when will people find out that you're a fraud? Will they find out that you're a fraud? This is one of the questions that I've been getting over and over. And I have a pretty uh, clear take on when it's okay to call yourself a service designer. Now, first of all, I've uh, talked a lot in the past about uh, that it makes more sense to talk about service design teams rather than a service designer, but uh, I totally get the need for people um, to identify themselves with the craft of service design. For instance, if you're looking for a job and you want to apply to a service design position, then calling yourself a service designer or a service design practitioner makes a lot of sense. So the big obstacle is that um, if you don't have a formal service design training you you haven't done a master in service design or you're maybe just transitioning from a field like ux or design research into service design then there's always that that feeling like um is it okay to call myself a service designer i don't have the experience i don't have the credentials um what people will find out that 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 i'm a fraud the imposter syndrome that's basically it so the the honest truth is I don't have a massive degree in service design either. When we started um, back in 2006 with service design, there was no master degree. We had to actually find, it out, uh, find out what it was. Now, fast forwarding to today, there's a lot of opportunity for education, training, uh, so forth, so forth. But I think all those things don't really matter um, and don't give you um, uh, sort of the, the um, uh, credibility to call yourself a, a service designer. For me, there's one thing that really matters um, and that is intent. So if you um, are designing for services or designing services intentionally, if you're following best practices and you're really uh, trying to do service design and from that moment on, in my uh, vocabulary you're a service designer so intent and following best practices and and really trying to design for services is um is for me the thing that matters most now we need to be very clear that this doesn't tell anything about whether you're a good service designer a bad service designer a professional service designer or an amateur that's not the point here the point here is when can you call yourself a service designer and again it's about, for me, it's all about intent. Um, another metaphor could be like, when can you call yourself a rider? Or maybe an athlete. It starts with really understanding and, and doing things with intent. What do you think? What is your criteria? And when would people be able to, to call themselves a service designer? Leave a comment on this video and I'm really curious on your take.